When we met with veterans at the Cincinnati VA hospital, we found that people using manual wheelchairs have difficulty holding an umbrella while traveling. The challenge is to find a hands-free device that would protect the person from unpleasant weather conditions in the workplace or on the way to the workplace. What happens when you have to go to work and it's raining? I try to use an umbrella, but it's very difficult when you're in a chair with one hand on the wheel and holding the umbrella. I stick it in the side, whatever I can. Any way I can get the glove covered with the umbrella. So. Research two major causes of wheelchair use spinal cord injury and paralysis. Severe spinal cord injuries involve damage to one or more of the four regions of the nerves in the spinal cord, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral. Damage to one of these areas can cause immobility in the respective part of the body. Spinal cord injury can be caused by traumatic injury as well as infection, congenital diseases, or genetic disorders. Several factors were considered in the design of the device. Access to the user, adjustability, simplicity, ease of attachment and assembly, and portability. We created several possible solutions in brainstorming. We rejected some solutions. A canopy attached to the back of the chair or a poncho over the user would be cumbersome, bulky, and not easily adjustable. We then developed several preliminary designs, including an arm of PVC pipes, a device that uses a caster to allow umbrella position adjustment, and a gooseneck prototype. We chose the gooseneck prototype as the final solution because it was the simplest and most adjustable device. Then we made final dimension drawings using the CAD software Autodesk Inventor. We mostly built the prototype in a mechanical engineering lab and followed lab safety rules such as proper eye protection. We made the wheelchair clamp, umbrella holder, and coupling nut using a mill, lathe, and power saw. We used the mill to make the necessary holes and grooves in the umbrella holder and wheelchair clamp. We made the coupling nut with the lathe by drilling through a steel cylinder and then we used taps to make the necessary threads in the parts. We made the umbrella strap from a piece of orange reflective fabric and attached velcro to the strap and block to allow easy attachment of the umbrella securing strap. We also placed anti-skid pads on the surfaces that contact the wheelchair and umbrella shafts to prevent rotational or translational movement. Later we reinforced the gooseneck with 6 gauge copper wire. First, the user clamps the device onto the wheelchair by tightening the clamp against the wheelchair shaft using the wing nuts. Then, he or she screws the remaining parts into the wheelchair clamp. The user then places the umbrella shaft on the curved edge of the block and secures it using the strap. The gooseneck allows the individual in the wheelchair to adjust the umbrella angle or bring it closer if the rain changes direction. The individual can adjust the vertical position of the umbrella by releasing, adjusting height, and refastening the strap. The device is also easy to disassemble and store because the parts can be unscrewed from the base. The umbrella fell incorporates important safety features. We rounded sharp edges to avoid user injury. The rider can also release the clamp and remove the umbrella in a worst case scenario. The gooseneck is stiff enough that it will not bend in a sudden gust and hit the rider. A screw clamp, velcro strap, and anti-skid pads prevent any slippage of the umbrella due to environmental forces. The velcro strap is reflective to ensure the visibility of the wheelchair at night. We tested the wheelchair and device on a windy and rainy day to see if the gooseneck could withstand the wind's horizontal force and to see if the device allowed easy shielding from the rain. Tests on the driveway showed that a gooseneck reinforced with wire could hold the weight of the umbrella and that jerks did not bend it. To select the optimum gauge of wire, we considered wire strength and gooseneck adjustability. The load cell helped judge wire strength. The gooseneck would be reinforced with 6 gauge wire. Now that I have this, I'm covered. I can use both hands to operate my wheelchair. The Umbrella Fella offers advantages that other patented devices don't. For example, the leg-supported umbrella holder is uncomfortably placed between the legs, obstructs vision, and is prone to falling over. The Paraplus umbrella holder and wheelchair umbrella are designed for the rear of the wheelchair, a place that is difficult for the user to reach, and thus make it difficult to move the umbrella up or down. The Umbrella Fella has none of these problems. It appeals to the very large market of people with disabilities who use wheelchairs and venture outdoors regularly. 
It is easy to use, protects the user from many weather conditions, and fits almost any umbrella. It is placed conveniently and allows the umbrella to be adjusted into nearly any position. Above all, it is produced simply with a few parts and can be sold at an affordable price of approximately $25. The Umbrella Fellow will be marketable to all of those who need it. If you want to stay dry in rainy weather, you will need to use Umbrella Fella. It can act so easily. Aim it anywhere you need it to be. If you're short or if you're tall, no, you won't feel a drop at all. Get protection from the rain and snow, even if 